Hi, my name is Scott Rice. I'm with uh, Fisher's Technology and uh, I'll be sharing some tips and tricks on electronic document solutions today. Um, and if you have any questions, feel free to email us at info at fisherstech.com. Hello, my name is Scott Rice. I'm with Fisher's Technology. Um, I'm going to be doing this demonstrational video on how to build a simple workflow. Um, first off, you need a workflow designer. That doesn't necessarily have to be installed on the server, but it often is. Uh, it does need to be, can be installed on most any computer and connected to with your workflow services on the server. So once you have that open, then we'll create a new workflow. Um, under the connection profiles over here, um, you will most likely only have one um, if it's a system already built for workflows. Otherwise, you may have several. Um, in this case, I have uh, a few here, but Laserfish repository is the one I want. And just choose that from the list and copy it, and it will set that up for you. Uh, next, we'll go over to the toolbox here. So the toolbox has um, all the different tools that Laserfish can use to um, do different things in repository to create and modify um, what's inside of your repository. Um, for this demonstration, we're just going to use a few of these. Um, retrieve field values is the first one. Um, a handy trick here is to only show the ones that are in your template. Otherwise, you get a lot of different options here. Um, and I'm going to do category and code. Um, those just two text fields that when filled in can route this file to where it needs to go. Um, so that will create that portion of it. Next we'll want to route this entry. So when this uh, file gets put in the conditions met, it will route it to a particular folder. Um, I've created a couple of folders prior, so I am going to move it to the file folder. And I'm going to have it create a dynamic uh, field or a dynamic folder structure for me as it goes along. So I'm going to use the field value that we um, grabbed before, which is called category here, to put it in the category folder. And that will be variable depending on what I type into the field. Um, next, I'm going to rename an entry. So when you do this, you can specify values that you've retrieved earlier. So in this case, I'm going to do retrieve field values of code. And so when we fill out those two fields, it will use this information to fill it out. Um, and lastly, I'm going to add an email option. So in here, I'm going to send an email to say that this file has been successfully filed. So. I'm just going to put an email address here. And I'm going to give it a subject of done. And a um, body of the message that says it has been filed. This is kind of the simple version of the email editor. You can also click here, um, and it gives you some extra options. Um, for example, I'll add a file name of the file that we're routing, in this case code, since we're going to name it the same thing, into here as well. So this will say this file has been routed. Go ahead and save that. And we'll go ahead and publish our workflow. Publishing a workflow is important to put it up in the system. You can make as many changes to this window and set up all the different workflows you want, but none of that will take effect until you publish the workflow. Um, we want to create a condition for this workflow. And in this case, I'm just going to say the entry's been created. You have different options here. So when an entry is deleted, moved, copied, changed, restored, or sign. You can have it do different things. In this case, we'll use created. Um, and entries path equals the incoming folder that I created earlier. So here we have incoming. Go ahead and publish that. Click finish. And now we'll go try out our workflow. 
So in here, if we create a file, give it the template of general, category is going to be invoices, and the code will be 112233. So I just used a general template. You would probably use a specific template set up for whatever file you're going to use. Uh, notice that I'm not giving it a name, and it'll rename it for me. If I create it here, it should move into the filed folder under invoices with uh, 1234. I did this earlier, so it uh, had an extra one in there. Um, but it should have also sent me an email. We will probably see shortly come through here. And there we are. And here's the email. So it has uh, filed the document, put it under in a particular folder structure, and emailed someone to let them know that's done. So you can be a very powerful part of uh, LaserFish. And thank you for uh, listening to this recording.